whether or not you actually have rights to modify or sell the device after paying for it. Recently, an eBay auction for Google Glass reached $90,000, but was soon taken down by the poster in order to avoid any legal implications from Google. Since the device has such a high price tag and this information has only recently come to light, we'll be keeping a close eye on how this may affect consumer demand. In other Google-related news, yesterday, the mayor of Provo, Utah, officially announced that they will be the third city in the nation to receive Google Fiber. With a host of tech companies and startups to their name, the city of Provo is ranked second in the nation for patents and consistently ranks as one of the top places to live and do business. Such a tech-friendly environment made Utah's third largest city an ideal candidate for the high-speed internet, and it appears that for Provo's sake, Google came at exactly the right time. In exchange for fiber, the city will sell their existing fiber optic network to Google, who will upgrade it and finish construction to the entire city. The deal will provide citizens with free internet services as well as broadband and TV options. With this announcement following so shortly after Google's expansion in both Kansas City and Austin, the one question on everyone's mind is, where will fiber go next? In a move that suggests being just a chip maker isn't enough, Intel is acquiring Mashery, an API management company. The chip giant has been buying its way into a diversified product and services offering. In 2010, Intel bought security software firm McAfee for close to $8 billion. It also acquired Sarvega, a company that specialized in XML gateways. Some observers view these purchases as an effort to remain relevant. Providing CPUs for struggling computer makers isn't as exciting as providing the tools that enable hot startup apps to communicate and interact with each other. As the PC market continues to dwindle, we're likely to see more product and services diversification from companies like Intel. According to Samsung's head of mobile business, a supply deal with rival chip maker Hynix could not only benefit Samsung, but make them one of their competitors' best customers. Even though Samsung is currently the world's biggest maker of DRAM chips, sales projections for their upcoming Galaxy S4 are expected to outsell every smartphone they've ever made. With high demand for the much-anticipated device, Samsung fears their chip production might not meet demand. In order to ensure there's no supply disruptions, Korean-based Hynix will need to supply more than enough chips to cover the S4's expected sales of 10 million units a month. It's clear that from this, Samsung will stop at nothing to jump past Apple's iPhone and recapture the top spot in smartphones once and for all. Toshiba's new CuraBook should relieve Windows users' Mac envy. The recently announced Windows Ultrabook weighs considerably less than Apple's MacBook Air while offering a higher screen resolution and larger 256GB SSD. The $1,600 base